Hey, everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having an amazing Wednesday afternoon. Thank you very much to everybody who came to the repair workshop we did yesterday and today for making these possible. If anybody wants to come to more of these in the future, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to a calendar that links to all the different times that we have these repair workshops. They are free, and anybody is willing to show up whenever they want. All you have to do is just show up, not be an asshole, and you're welcome to use our equipment, our soldering stations, hot air stations, microscopes, power supplies, and ask questions of the people who are running the workshop. So if you're trying to learn how to do some basic soldering or electronics troubleshooting and you're not really sure what you're doing but you could use some help, that's what these are for, and they are being held here at the store for free. So the topic of today's video is going to be a mistake that I made yesterday. Usually I don't spend much time reading through Reddit unless somebody links me to a particular post that is a of interest to me, or if I've been pinged somewhere because there is something re relating to right to repair where there's a chance for me to open somebody's mind. Just maybe not, not try to fight them, argue, insult, just see if I can just plant a seed and get somebody to understand what our perspective is. And that's when I use Reddit. The wrong way to use Reddit is to go to the homepage, scroll through it, and, and engage with it. Because what, instead of uh, killing time, I wind up killing brain cells. And unfortunately, that is what I did yesterday. So yesterday when I went onto Reddit, I wasn't really digging into anything the, you know, any specific subreddit. I was just going through the homepage, and the second post on the homepage of the entire website was as follows. And I thought I would read this and just go over it from a couple of different perspectives. It says here, right wing and libertarian men, we hate you. Uh, you know, mo more of us are swearing off of men and refusing to have your babies. More and more of you will be friend zoned, rejected, dumped, alone. The very thing you fear the most is coming to pass, and it's all your fault. And there's the, the rant above it. And uh, I just thought that I would kind of yeah, I, I honestly usually when I do make the mistake of reading through Reddit, I will usually just continue scrolling and move on, uh, and uh, that's usually the proper thing to do, not talk about it. But this time I thought it. I'd make the mistake of talking about it a little bit. So there's a couple of different ways to come at this. I think the first one is there's something that just seem really narcissistic seeming about this post and like I, I it took me some time to process it but in there it appears that there is the implication that um that how do i put this it seems like there's the implication that they were interested I'll just, let me just give it, let me try to come up with a better example of this. So there are many videos I do on this channel where I present to you anti-right to repair lobbyists and I present their testimony versus ours. And most of these lobbyists are white men between the age of like 55 and 80 and they're pretty curmudgy and looking. They're just not something I have any interest in. But on rare occasion, it'll be a really cute, good looking, well -present uh, you know, presentable woman that in their mid-20s. Now, imagine if I said, I am withholding sex from all anti-right to repair lobbyists because I hate you. See, to, to even say something like that, it would have the, it, I'd be implying that those young, good-looking women that make six figures in their mid-20s were interested in me to begin with, were waiting outside my store, waiting for me to leave so they could take a selfie from me or showing up in my DMs or matching with me on Tinder, uh, which, which is n not the case at all. And to make that implication, it would be kind of... Um, Weird, you know, be kind of preposterous of me to make it. It would be a little narcissistic because there'd be that assumption that they actually were interested to begin with. And if we, we just kind of take that back to here, you know, if, if we're talking about the kind of man that it wants to move to Florida just so that he has the ability to vote for Ron DeSantis, was that the type of man that was looking at the type of person that makes top voting posts on r slash 2x chromosomes and going, man, that's the person that I want to make my wife? And I just, I don't see that happening. This is one of those things where it's like, it, it's supposed to be some sort of backhanded threat, or some backhanded insult, something to make you feel bad. We are going to be withholding, again, friend zone, rejected, dumped, alone, no, you're not having your children. But there's the, imp there's the implication in there that they were this close to it anyway. That, again, the guy with the MAGA sticker on his, uh, on his Ford F-150 had a bunch of people in his Tinder inbox from R2X chromosomes, which, which we know is just fundamentally um, not the case, just, and probably never was. Uh, the second one here that I thought was particularly interesting is the idea that people all think the same. You know, th th this was even just a surprise to me. I went to, to Albany 
of two weeks ago to speak about right to repair at a press conference. And there was, you know, young, cute reporter there that I was speaking to that I thought was particularly interesting. Uh, I spoke to her for a short period. I got her number. We had some conversations. And, you know, th- th- this didn't go anywhere. But one of the things that I found interesting was that she had yelled in one of the rooms that there were, you know, instead of just, you know, asking a question and phrasing it in a particular way about abortion, she yelled, what about the rights of the unborn? Because she was actually a pro-life advocate in one of the most liberal states in the country, lived there her whole life, and was honest, actually further to the right of me on that particular issue. Not all people are the same. Not all people of a particular group are the same. And again, something tells me that that particular woman that I met would not be included in the list of people, would not want to be in the category that is just saying right-wing and libertarian men, we hate you. The other thing that I found particularly interesting about this post is it's not saying far-right men and anarcho-capitalists, we hate you. It's not really drawing the line at a form of serious extremism. It's just saying right-wing and libertarian. Again, not anarcho-capitalist, not far-right people, not separatists or something, uh, just right-wing and libertarian men, we hate you. And that was pretty much the top-voted post, uh, the second top-voted post, I'm sorry, on Reddit when I, when I visited yesterday. I don't know, I just kind of found that interesting. I, like, I really... And, you know, the other thing that I found interesting about this as well is there was one video that I did uh, a few weeks ago on uh, the gentleman that had died who posted relationship advice and other controversial stuff to YouTube that I honestly had never watched until I heard of his death. My personal trainer does watch him on a regular basis, but I didn't until then. I started watching before I did the video just so I could at least have an idea of what the content was about. In this video, a word on media coverage and Kevin Samuels. And one of the things that, that uh, he did, and he would have these conversations with women that would call into his show, and he would have little sound effects and things just to keep the show entertaining. And when somebody would say something that would be perceived as kind of crazy, let's say somebody says, you know, I make 50000 a year. I want a man that makes 500000 a year. I have two or three kids, and I'm out of shape. And he would say, okay, she would... He would say, is that really what you're looking for? And she'd say, yes, I don't want to date anybody else. And he would hit this little dog sound effect. And he would say, buy a dog, you're going to die alone. And there were a lot of people that would call him misogynistic and horrible. And well, that's horrible misogyny. You can't tell people that they're going to die alone. How dare you? And one of the things that I just found particularly interesting here is that the top voted post on that sub and the second top voted post on all of Reddit was pretty much saying the exact same thing. It was that, that veiled threat of you will die alone because of your, not even because of your standards, but simply because of your point of view. I thought that was very interesting. Again, it's, a, it's very, 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 very offensive when he plays the dog sound effect. And I can understand, point taken. But it's completely normal. And the top voted post on the website when somebody else says you're going to die alone because I don't like your point of view on something. Just something to think about. Something to think about. Something I thought was particularly interesting. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to swear off reading Reddit because <laughs> it really does just kind of rot your brain cells. And I get it. When you go out there in the real world, talk to people, it is so much better than just sitting there on the internet, listening to people on Twitter and Reddit and Facebook, absolutely rage at everybody over everything. I'm actually going to be taking a, a road trip for in the next week and a half. I'm going to be driving down uh, south a few thousand miles and kind of... Uh, have some fun, meet some people along the way, maybe do a couple of meetups. We'll still be doing the workshops here at the store for anybody that wants to show up and just kind of get some general advice on soldering and stuff like that. But yeah, please do go outside. Interact with real people. Talk to real people. Get off of these toxic social media platforms that just make people feel shittier about themselves, each other, and everything. And like Again, you log in and the top voted thing on the website is, these people, I hate you. Walk outside. Walk outside. I'm going to be walking outside and try again. The less time I spend on these websites, the better my brain feels. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.